Hello, today I will be discussing learning models uh, for both traditional learning as well as online learning. My name is Ryan Coles. There is a continuum that describes traditional and online learning models. Uh, for the traditional learning model, 0% of the work is done digitally or virtually. Um, and uh, typically the content is delivered um, through instruction uh, of the educa educator speaking out loud um, or writing the steps and procedures. Generally now, uh, whether we're talking public school or even at the university level, um, we're shifting toward a web facilitated uh, model actually where m a little bit more of the model uh, is utilizing online resources, online uh, learning management systems uh, for both the um, acquisition and turning in of assignments. We see a lot of use of the learning management systems um, whether that's Schoology or Canvas or Blackboard. Then we have the blended or hybrid that can be useful for people that need a little more flexibility but uh, require a need for interaction with a teacher, interaction with other students, uh, potentially part of the lessons uh, are skill-based and therefore provide an opportunity to go into a learning lab or develop those skills. And lastly, the online model. Most of the work is done online and typically there is no face-to-face -face or virtual meetings, such as what we are utilizing for this, uh, this classroom at Grand Canyon University. <clears throat> Traditional learning provides, uh, can provide immediate feedback, clarification. A, a student can ask a teacher um, a question immediately and the teacher is able to provide that feedback um, in, in real time. Um, other students can have an impact on the learning and that can be both positive or negative in terms of positively providing a rich uh, collaboration whereas negatively distractions can become problematic. And for me, as a science teacher, um, I try to utilize hands-on learning, uh, laboratory work, and uh, model building, and that becomes uh, that's one of the strengths of traditional learning. Compared to online learning, um, there are uh, potentially greater resources avail av av available for the accessibility for all learners. Um, this accessibility can be helpful for learners that, that might have uh, physical limitations um, or they have other uh, alternative learning needs. And um, the interaction between a teacher and student can be more focused uh, and distraction free. So a student can ask a teacher uh, via email a very specific question and the teacher can respond very directly and um, focused specifically on what that student is needing. Regardless in both environments the goal just like any education is to empower learners um, and provide multiple opportunities for practice and to uh, illustrate mastery. Lastly educators uh, can focus on student needs and differentiate. The differentiation might look different depending on whether it's a traditional or learning environment, but that is still an opportunity regardless. The benefits of each of the learning models actually serves as the, the, the challenge um, for the converse learning model. So the benefits of traditional learning um, are the challenges of online learning. Benefits of traditional learning, you have that face-to-face -face interaction between uh, peers, students and students, or you have that interaction between educator and student. 
traditional learning provides uh, networking opportunities that can lead into working relationships and internships. And lastly, there can be a greater sense of belonging and purpose when you are at uh, a facility, at a site, at a campus, uh, going about and learning and interacting with people face to face. Some some individuals prefer or are motivated by that social aspect. The benefits of online learning, again, there's more accessibility, not just in the instruction or in the uh, resources, but rather the timing and location. An online learner can uh, access assignments and material at any time and any location. The online learning can also provide flexible schedules, uh, working either in the middle of the night, uh, early in the morning, on the weekends, during the week, and to potentially take breaks between classes or to uh, double up on classes to either complete the program uh, faster or uh, at a slower pace and um, oftentimes the skills and knowledge gained in online programs are specific to work and therefore people can apply that learning immediately. I'm choosing to use the McCluskey uh, theory of margin or the power load margin uh, theory uh, to discuss when a learner is trying to determine what is a best opportunity for them in their learning, they need to understand uh, what their what the power of each model provides as well as what the load provides in addition to the power and load that they have in their regular lives. <clears throat> for me right now, the power of having flexibility and timing um, overpowers, I guess you can say, uh, the need for uh, immediate feedback and face-to-face -face interaction, although those are uh, major motivators for myself. Um, but because I do have the time and ability to do online learning, my power is greater and therefore I have a load that is positive. Thank you very much.